If I'd have known it would have got this far, the, the stupid tweet wouldn't have ever got posted, to be honest. Um, like I say, I, ta I, take it, I take the tweet back if I could, but I can't. You say this stupid tweet. Yeah. D isn't there a lesson in here that people have to be very careful yeah, about what they do? Definitely. I mean, everybody knows what um, the social media is like, but I, I, I guess I didn't think posting that would have ever got as far as it has now. If we talk about the cyclist, though, Simon Nichols, you're her solicitor, um, there is th a chance that she could get charged with not stopping at the scene of an accident. There are three possible uh, offences that could be revealed in relation to the cyclist. That is, so driving without due care and attention, failing to stop after an accident, and failing to report an accident to a police station within 24 hours. And all the way through, Emma has said, actually, my driving wasn't at fault. It was the cyclist who clipped my mirror, not the other way round. So why didn't you stop? I did stop. There's, I, don't, I don't know what the point is that I didn't stop, because I did stop. I stopped, looked in my rear, I assessed the situation, and I saw that there was no need to stop. When you being assessed that he it, was, what, did, what did you think was happening? Well, if the fact that he was upright and steady, I saw that as, uh, you know, if he was on, if he'd fell, you know, if he, you know, wobbled and gone to the side, there's no way, there's no way I would have driven off. What is your attitude towards cyclists on the road? Because I it, don't have a negative attitude towards cyclists. I cycle around myself. She, uh, the tweet is, you know. And now you may be disciplined at work because of yeah. this. Yeah. You've had a hearing today, haven't you? How mm -hmm. did that go? Um, what the result is is being postponed um, for up to another seven days. And that's all about bringing your company into disrepute, is it? Yeah. Can I just ask, why, if, if there are no charges or anything like that, why you need a solicitor? Well, she's been investigated for an offence, and that's what lawyers do. They go along with their clients and represent them when they're being interviewed by the police. And interviewed by the media in this case, because this is actually being played out in the media, isn't it? Well, it has been, and I think for poor old Emma's sake, um, she spent the first few days of this week just absolutely not from pillar to post by people saying things about her, national newspapers turning up on her doorstep. And the simple and unequivocal fact is that um, she felt that it was about time she started kicking back a little bit, not about the tweet, which she has always accepted she's completely wrong to have yeah. done, but about the suggestion that she was driving badly, because she's always said that she wasn't. Is this keeping you awake nights? And it's, it's horrific, it really is. She's had th threats, of all, quite nasty threats made to her. What kind of things have people been saying to you? You just read the feeds and you can see that that's enough, but I've had people drive past me calling me a killer cyclist when it's not the case at all. Nobody's heard my story until now, and I just think people shouldn't just judge me when all they've seen is a, a stupid tweet that I made and then the other guy's side of the story, because the real side of the story just isn't what it's been portrayed as. Emma Way, Simon Nichols, thank you very much for coming in.